not least Vital Records. As you all aware, that is really an area that has thrived really well. There's still little pockets of areas that we know we can generate some revenue that would help. So we've gone to extended hours on Fridays. Um, the staff was willing, graciously willing, once they got the train, the new staff train, and we had to hire a new person, they're gonna start staggering and alternating and trying to extend the hours on Friday. We average about, I keep a count, of between 10 to 11 individuals are requests for uh, birth certificates after we have closed at one o'clock. So we're, and it's between those peak hours of one to three, so our staff is willing to extend their hours to work limited to just by the records on Fridays. And so that'll go on until we need to stop it. But we didn't, um, we just want to say, call it extended hours, we didn't want to change anything but I'm just willing that the staff is willing to alternate their schedule to work those hours. So like I said, I, our, my job is to present the situation and to galvanize them in the direction they need to go. That's a good idea, because I think people, you know, they'll go on the weekends or on yes. Saturdays to get their license yes. renewed, so they're coming in Friday afternoon. Yes, and that's what we noticed. We have a lot of out-of-towners that was coming in, like for family reunions, so I came to visit my mama for the weekend, and they would come from Orlando, or Jacksonville and Alabama, we've got actually gotten calls and they'll be on the highway. Now, if they do that and call us, we'll stay open. But we just figured that it's really imperative that to assist them in meeting their needs. And then also, it's beneficial to us as well because it's a justified need. 